Morales, and I'm going to be speaking to you about a very well-known producer. His name is uh, Sergio George, and Sergio George is a very famous Latin producer, which uh, we describe as a musician producer. He is a famous pianist. Um, he's been playing since he was about five years old, and he was born in 1961. Uh, he's known for working with many famous performers of salsa and other genres too, um, but he started with salsa. Um, some of the artists that he started working with were La India, uh, Mark Anthony, Jennifer Lopez, Tito Nieves, Victor Manuel, Frankie Negron, Johnny Rivera, and many, many more. Um, this guy is really, really big. Um, I actually didn't know much about him, but then I'm I went to find out that uh, he has produced most of my favorite songs. So um, he was uh, the son of some Puerto Rican parents and uh, he was born and raised in East Harlem, New York. Uh, he attended the City College of New York and also started his professional career in a group called Conjunto Caché and another conjunto called Clásico. And that was in uh, in the 1980s. So uh, he first got his break to produce um, because he was first a musical director, and a artist called Tito Nieves actually called him up and asked him to be a producer on his first album. And this album came a success and it was so big that they created their own record label it was called RMM uh, records and Tito Nieves and him did great things in salsa um, they had many artists many many well-known artists such as uh, Jose Alberto El Canario, Johnny Rivera, Domingo Quiñones, Tony Vega, Rey Sepulveda there's a, a bunch of them a lot and um, he had very a lot of platinum songs um, uh, with these artists, and he went on to create great things. But uh, eventually, he wanted to do his own uh, record label. And um, don't get me wrong, he still does stuff with Tito Nieves. He has done over a hundred albums with Tito Nieves, which not many artists do a hundred albums. Or actually, it's EPs. I'm sorry, and. Um, in the early 1990s, um, he did his own record in Miami. It was called Top Stop Music. And Top Stop Music actually started getting very well known because he started marketing through Univision, which is a great source because not many record labels market through television. And um, since so many Latin countries are so different, but um, television does unite them. So this is a great way for him to market. Um, he, when he did his uh, record label, Top Stop Records, he started with a artist called Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique is actually was signed to Sony. Um, and Sony, he didn't like the work that he was doing with Sony, so he decided to cancel his contract. But on his contract said that if he canceled his contract, he couldn't do anything for five years. So uh, Sergio George picked him up after these five years and did a great album with him. And after doing this great album, great songs on the album, it actually won a Grammy and Sergio George won his first Grammy for producer of the year on this album so he was uh, very content with that I would say and um, actually he started uh, with uh, after that he he picked up another artist called Prince Royce he moved on to another genre called bachata and Prince Royce has been the biggest thing right now in bachata um, he actually did, the first song he did with Prince Boys was Stand By Me. Uh, Stand By Me was a really well-known song because um, it was used to, uh, um, people donated the money from uh, the profits of that song and they gave it to uh, Katrina when Katrina hit here in the United States. And um, he's gotten really well known as a bachata singer because he 
is a very great singer. I'm not going to take that away from him. And actually, Sergio George uh, made uh, got his second Grammy on his album for the songs Corazón Sin Cara, Tu y Yo, and Stand By Me. And um, he still... Actually, Prince Royce just signed with another company now, but he just picked up... Sergio George just picked up another artist called... Uh, Leslie Grace, and Leslie Grace is doing great stuff in bachata too, actually. So he's still in the industry, doing big things, working with a lot of big salsa singers still, and um, hopefully he keeps on putting out great things. So thank you for listening to my podcast, and I hope you enjoyed.